Well, the Samajwadi Party was the first to kick off a third front debate, threatening to withdraw support from the UPA. Then another one of the UPA's lifelines, the BSP, refused to rule out the possibility of mid-term polls. While the talk is around whether or not a third front will emerge, Finance Minister P. Chidambaram joins the debate, vehemently denying the possibility of a third front. If political speculation is anything to go by, the run-up to the general elections of 2014 has already begun. And if the debate isn't around who the Prime Minister will be, the talk is around whether or not a third front will emerge this time around. And Finance Minister P. Chidambaram is the latest entrant in the debate. Indian while Chidambaram's colleagues in the cabinet are of the same view, तीसरे मोर्चे की बात समय समय पर होती है और तीसरा मोर्चा तो तो ये बात मान के बनता है कि हमें किसी का सहयोग चाहिए तीसरा मोर्चा अपने आप कोई सरकार बनाएगा तो अभी किसी ने ऐसा कोई दावा नहीं किया है the Samajwadi Party, whose chief Mulayam Singh was the first to kick off the third front debate, is sticking its neck out. The fact is that UPA2, in its last leg, is surviving with the help of outside support from Mulayam Singh and Mayavati. And if Mulayam is keeping the Congress guessing every second day, Mayavati too is not far behind. Central government ki jo nitya rahi hai, to wo sahi nahi rahi hai. Jada tar nitya jan virodhi rahi hai. Or weaker section ke mamle mein to ham bilkul bhi central government ki nitiyon se bilkul sahmat nahi hai. So even as both Congress and BJP vehemently deny the possibility of an option number three. Does the confidence of parties like the Samajwadi Party indicate that backroom talks are already underway? And will a third front actually emerge ahead of 2014? Bureau Report, Times Now.